Good morning, it's Dave at All Things Important Reviews and I've got with me today two uh, popular dive watches. Um, I've got with me, this is a comparison review. I've got on my left the Citizen Promaster Eco Dive, sorry, Eco Drive, sorry, which is a solar Divers 200, so it's a certified Divers 200 meter watch with solar technology, so it has a, a rechargeable battery inside that'll last years and years. Um, both, and on the right, I've got the Steel, Steel Dive SD 1970, which is a homage watch um, to the Seiko Turtle, which is a, a very popular watch from the 1970s that they've done a new iteration of Seiko. Obviously, Steel Dive are nothing to do with Seiko. They, they have made a watch that looks similar to that watch. And it has this kind of fat, chunky case. As you can see, they both look somewhat similar to each other. Uh, they're both in a very dive utilitarian style, but we're gonna find out that they both do feel moderately differently on the wrist and they both have benefits and downsides. Um, the Citizen on the bracelet is harder and harder to buy because the bracelet has a special ratcheting clasp that lets you have on the fly micro adjust. Whereas this just has a standard flip lock uh, deployant clasp, basically. basically. Um, and so this one is only worth around 70 to 80 pounds GBP, whereas the Citizen is probably worth closer to 300 pounds because of the bracelet, if not more really. Uh, but I did pick it up in a deal for closer to 200 pounds. Let's start off with the sizing of both models. And this is where the interesting differences are. Um, the Citizen is a 44, the Citizen is a 44 millimeter nominal size. So if you measure that, you get 44 mil bang on pretty much. If you measure the bezel, you get about 43 mil. Obviously there is no kind of supporting big case on this one. The, the bezel is pretty much flush with the edge of the case, pretty much obviously. With this, with this steel dive, it's not. There is a much bigger supporting case. However, this is where the differences lie. The, the end link to end link on the Citizen is around 53, 54 mil. That's that measurement, okay? And I think the um, lug width is around 50 mil, 51 mil, something like that. Whereas with a steel dive, it is 47 mil. And because it has female end links, the end link to end link is also 47 mil approximately. The thickness is, the Citizen is only 11.5 mil thick, whereas the steel dive is 13.6 mil thick, 13.7 mil. So it is a thicker watch, the steel dive. But because it has that much smaller lug width, uh, sorry, lug to lug and end link to end link, the, city, the steel dive feels smaller on the wrist. The steel dive is, is nominally 44 mil in terms of the case measurement. The bezel is also a lot smaller. The bezel is only 41.3 mil, whereas this is 43 mil. So the Citizen feels like the bigger watch on the wrist, even though it's a lot, it's, it's two mil thinner. It's because of that lug, lug to lug and end link to end link size. That's what's making it feel so much bigger. It does feel a, a bit bigger on the wrist. And the thickness is because the thickness comes from the, the beveled uh, sapphire, even though on this one, um, it is flush. This one sticks up about half a mil to a mil. They actually feel very similar in terms of thickness. It does not feel significantly more top heavy. So let's talk about the crystals and uh, bezels. So I actually prefer the size, I have to say, of the steel dive. I prefer the feel on the wrist of the steel dive, basically. Now, let's talk about yeah, the dial, crystals and bezels. The, on the Citizen, we've got um, just an acrylic, essentially. It's, it's a mineral crystal. It's not a sapphire uh, crystal. So it depends what you use your watch for, but that means that it will scratch more easily. The sapphire 
is going to be more resistance to scratching and will not scratch as easily on the steel dive. So I prefer the crystal on the steel dive. Bezels. The bezel feels definitely better, I think. Yeah, it's easier to turn, so if that's how you measure them. I, I prefer the bezel on the, the Citizen. However, the Citizen just has an aluminium bezel or a steel bezel. It is not sapphire. The steel dive has a, has a, has a, a ceramic bezel, but it's super, super hard to turn. I don't know why it is so hard. You know, I couldn't imagine under the water. If I had to turn it under the water, doing that, it is too difficult to do. I suppose they would do it before they go in the, in the water, but again, I'm not a diver, so I will never use this bezel. It's just a, a novelty, really. I would never, ever use the bezel. So the, the, the bezel, I prefer the action, and I, and I probably prefer, looks-wise, I like them both, but I would prefer it if the Citizen was a ceramic bezel. Um, Material, definitely, the, the, the Steel Dive wins for material, in my opinion. But feel of the bezel, the Citizen wins. Dials, I think that the Citizen has the more, um, it has the more utilitarian look to it. It looks super, super divey, if you will. Very bare bones, but really nice big fat hands with an orange hand. I love that. Whereas the, the, the steel dive looks a bit more casual and a bit more all round. So again, it depends what you want it for. Um, you, could, you could easily go both ways with this. Um, they both look really good. They both look like a diver's watch. Um, whereas I would think the steel dive doesn't look as serious as the Citizen. The Citizen looks very serious in terms of this is a tool watch kind of thing. You know, it's made for a purpose. Whereas the Steel Dive looks a bit more just general casual watch, I think. But it's tough to say. I like the red on the dial of the Steel Dive. I like the... It's, they both look similar in terms of, you know, Citizen are just... They don't really have a, a logo that they've put on the dial. They do have one on the crown there. But they just put Citizen. I love the Citizen dial. I really do. He could, he could drive Divers 200 meter. Whereas this is just automatic water water 200 meter resist. So again, I'll leave that up to you to decide essentially which one you prefer. Which one do I prefer? It's a tough one. I'm not sure which one I prefer yet in terms of the, just the dial looks. Legibility, they are both extremely legible. But because of the thicker hands on the Citizen, I think the Citizen is easier to tell the time slightly. I mean, said that, it is more compact, it feels. But yeah, um, I think the Citizen is easier to tell the time slightly, but they're both super legible dials, essentially. Now, just talking about the water resist, both are 200 meter water resist, but the Citizen is a diver's 200 meter. So it meets the ISO, the international standard for, for, for diving. I think it's six something or other. That means it's been put through tests to ensure that it meets the stringent requirements for diving. And that means that this watch, you've got more certainty that it won't kind of fail, that it'll definitely be able to be used for diving. Whereas this watch just has the uh, 200 meter water resistant will not have been engineered um, to that standard. It could have been, but they've not bothered to pay for the test, which is fine because it would up the costs on the steel dive. This is just a cheap AliExpress homage watch. So of course, they're not gonna have that, that um, certification, but by all means, you could still dive with this watch as long as everything is working correctly and screwed down. So water resist, the Citizen does win, in my opinion. Now, crowns, they both feel very similar, but I do prefer the way that the case design is on the steel dive. I prefer the fact it's more tucked away. You've got the crown guards here. The crown guards almost look too small on the Citizen, and it does look a bit, you know, like a bit of an afterthought, how it sticks out so much. 
I prefer the way it's been integrated like this. It looks better and it probably feels comfier. And just to comment on the cases, they're both very comfortable cases, but the Citizen, it is a very nice rounded edge. So it's not nothing sharp on it. On the Steel Dive, the case is beautifully curved upwards. So it doesn't dig into your wrist. Can you see that? You see how it's curved up, so it will not it will not dig into your wrist. So I prefer the case design of the Steel Dive, which is obviously based on a Seiko watch. So um, let's talk about case backs. I'll just show you the Citizen first. I've done a full review of this watch. Yeah, pretty plain, but they've got loads of. I mean, both steel. They're not going to be exhibition windows on these types of watches. They're a dive tool watch. They've got laser etchings with Citizen. It's got the diver's 200 meter. It's got the model number. It's got a serial and all that. On the um, on the steel dive, it just has the big steel dive logo, which is a bit childish in my honest opinion, but that's what it has. With um, the water resist. Doesn't tell you the model though for some reason. So yeah, case backs pretty fairly similar really. Nothing too special to write home about. Now let's talk about the bracelets. Now this is an interesting one. So they're both solid bracelets. They're both completely solid bracelets. However, the Citizen bracelet feels a lot better in terms of the durability and engineering tolerances it feels really sturdy the citizen one the citizen does use a pin and collar system unfortunately or fortunately depending on which way you look at it they have a tiny tiny little collar that's an absolute you can easily lose it the steel dive does not have a collar it's just a pin but the they're both a kind of you know oyster style three link bracelet but the Citizen starts off here at the top. It only has a lug width of about 20 mil, but the second link is about 23, 24 mil. And that tapers down to about 20 mil. So it is a wider bracelet on the Citizen, really, because it flares off as soon as it comes from the end link, it flares off to a bigger one at 23 mil, something like that. And it only tapers down to about 19.8, I think I measured at the clasp. Whereas this is 20 mil, so a much smaller kind of thing here, tapering down to about 17, 18 mil, about 18 mil at the, at the clasp. The, so, but this is a lot more jangly, a lot more rattly. Doesn't feel anywhere near as well made, even though the thicknesses are probably very similar to the links. Yeah, they are. They're probably both about 12.5, 12.8 mil, 3 mil thick, something like that. But, so they're both very comfortable. But the more comfortable one in terms of the bracelet is actually the, the steel dive. And I, I put that down to the, the fact it is a narrower bracelet. The, the steel dive one starts here quite wide, really, um, and only goes to 20 mil. I would have preferred it if it was just 20 mil tapering down to 18 mil. But obviously they would probably have to redesign the case a little bit. I can see why they've done it like that, because they, don't, they, wanted, they didn't want it to just look like a drop there. If that was just going straight down, it might look a bit stupid. They'd have to do something about that. But it does moderately affect the comfortability. It's not as comfortable, I don't think. And another reason for that is, is because it has a massive clasp. Now, let's just talk about the clasps. So, so for, for engineering, it, well, in terms of the, you know, durability and performance, the, the, the Citizen has the superior bracelet. But for comfort, the superior bracelet is the steel dive. Now clasps, this one has a very nifty ratcheting. On, the Citizen has a ratcheting on the fly um, micro adjust system where you can, on, on your wrist, you can pull it out. You, you, you push these pushes upwards. You don't push them in, you push them upwards. And then it opens up and you can get it onto about, I don't know, you can get loads of different two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You probably get ten different micro adjust settings there. 
I'm not joking, at two mil each. So you're getting about 20 mil adjustment on the fly and you can do it on your wrist. Uh, I'll just show you. So if, it was, if I was going diving and I wanted to put it over a wetsuit, you can just go like that and, and push it out. If it's at the wrong setting, you can just push it in one notch like that. So you can get really, really fine adjustment at two mil increments approximately. Um, whereas obviously on the steel dive, you've only got a cheap flip lock clasp, which is fine. You know, it's got stamped metal, but it does the job. It is a really cheap clasp. You can easily change this to a diver's clasp or to a heavier duty flip lock. It does have, you know, the safety catch and it does have the does have the push pins. It does have the uh, sorry the the push buttons, so it isn't. It is functional, but it is made from super cheap metal. But to keep the price down, that's why they've put them on. But they could easily have made one with bigger swing arms. We say one point five two mil thick swing arms for only a little bit more expensive. So it's a bit disappointing why they've put one on so cheap. Uh, but it works fine and it's super super comfortable. There is no there is only three micro adjusts and there is no divers extension on this on this clasp Whereas the clasp on this one is a true tool watch clasp and if you're going diving regularly I'm, I suppose this is what you'd want. I will never dive and I will never go or well I might do when I move to Thailand, but I'm not doing it in any any time soon. So for me I mean, it is still a comfortable clasp. It's big, but it is still comfortable. There's nothing on it that really catches the wrist. On both bracelets, they are really comfortable. You know, maybe something on the Citizen is a little tiny bit less comfortable because you've got more hardware there. It's a bigger clasp. It's a much, much bigger clasp. There's a lot more hardware there. But, um, I mean, if that was too sharp, you could always just file it down a little bit on the back of there. Um... But it is an excellent class, really. But I will. What I've realised is, and I've done a video about this. If you're not a diver, and if you don't wear the watch tight on the wrist, you will basically never use this, or very rarely, because you're not going to keep it on a setting like that. You're not going to use it as this is a temporary setting. You're not going to keep the watch at that micro just setting as a permanent basis. It looks strange. So in that sense, you know. These ratcheting clasps, I believe they are overrated for most people. Most people will just put the watch on the wrist and will never set it again for years or months. They'll just use that setting and keep it as that. Whereas, you know, you'll just set the watch and put it on the wrist. I'll just do some wrist shots now then. Yeah, I believe that the, the, the steel dive is definitely the more comfortable watch. They're both comfortable, but the steel dive is even more. And the reason for that will be the cheaper bracelet and the smaller bracelet and clasp and the smaller um, lug, lug to lug width and end link to end link width. But both are excellent watches and both for the price are excellent. Even though this is three times the price, over three times the price. Um, both would also be excellent on a rubber band so I think that the steel dive for the price is an absolute no brainer it is an absolute no brainer Even but if you're going diving and you want something even more premium even more tooly oh I, I've not mentioned and I should mention I've not mentioned the movements now the movements in the in the steel dive, this one, is an NH35, which is an inaccurate movement. It can go between like 10 seconds a day to 30 seconds to 40 seconds. Some people lose. They're not an accurate movement, but they are a workhorse. They're regarded as. If you're lucky, you can get them more accurate. The Citizen has a solar powered battery. It's, it's got, you know, it can charge with fluorescent or you know, 
it, it, it can charge with all aspects of light. It doesn't need to be uh, sunlight. So the citizen, and it's it's got a quartz, it's a quartz movement, obviously. So the citizen is a much better in my opinion, movement and package. So this will last a lot longer. This will probably need servicing after a few years and will, will not be anywhere near as accurate. So if you're wearing it as a daily driver and you want the accuracy, no brainer, the Citizen is better. I wish that the Citizen was a bit smaller on the um, end link to end link or the Ludwig look. I think that would improve the comfort and I wish that the, the tapering of the clap of the bracelet was a bit more, personally. Um, but it does balance the watch well. And if you if you are going diving regularly, this is the watch to get. Whereas if you're just a desk diver like me, for the price of it being so cheap, get the steel dive for now, honestly. But you're not going to be disappointed with both watches. They are both outstanding watches for the price. I hope you've uh, enjoyed my review. It's been Dave. Have a great day.